What, what up, y'all? It's your boy Drill. And this your Cash. Back with another video. Yes, we are. Y'all see, man, we got that boy Charleston White, man. They said Charleston White got arrested for a loaded weapon and illegal substance. Damn, not Charleston White, dude. Big Charleston. Right. Come on, man. I'm going to see if Charleston about to turn up on this man. Uh, let's just see what's going on, man. Let's go ahead and tap in, man. Scribe to the channel, gang. Uh, what about drug use? No, no drug, no drug use. Not even marijuana. Yeah, I'm not smoking. Yeah, smoke that. That little guy. You know, I ain't never noticed. Is there anything else illegal inside? Huh? Yeah. Let me see. That's it. Right. What you were saying? Well, I said I ain't even noticed. Bro, I had hair. Okay, like, what? I'm a, we ain't keeping up yeah, with him or something like that. Right. I ain't because noticed. normally, if, if we do watch a live or an interview, he be in. He always had like a hat on or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That boy got a fresh retweet. Uh, what about drug use? No, no drug use, not even marijuana. Yeah, I'm not smoking. Yeah, he's smoking the car. <laughs> that little guy. That's it. Is there anything else illegal inside the car? Damn. Exactly. On an afternoon in 2020, Irving police officers noticed a white BMW breaking several traffic laws. When they ran the plates, they realized <laughs> the car belonged to Charleston White, a well-known community activist. What seemed like a routine right. traffic stop was about to take an unexpected turn. The tension grew as officers approached, with the air thick with anticipation. What could have been just another ticket soon became something much bigger. You won't want to miss what happens next. Yeah. I was on my way. Blue, bro. It's good, because I do, too. Hey, no, sir. I don't know, man. I'm Officer Becerra there in Police Department. The reason you've been stopped, sir, was that uh, ring your tags and shows no insurance. Oh. Yeah, Charles. insurance and a driver's license, please. Yeah. Oh, Come on, man. Man, uh, picking my daughter up from the school down here. Man, you care about that. Even a driver's license? Man, I, I just got this man, Tommy. She was just dropping one kid off the school. Oh, man. Yeah, I I'm gonna drive around. Slip no like insurance. that, bro. No insurance, no license. Well, I don't need this one. I just need a driver's license. Up. Step off. This. I'll hand this back to you. Step off, though. Huh? Do you have an ID or anything with you? When the officer arrived, Mr. White appeared to not have active car insurance, nor did he have his driver's license. The officer took his name verbally and ran it through the NCIC, National Crime Information Center system. Charleston, first name? And I had my friend in the suit. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have anything on the computer at all. So this is a valid policy, right? Oh, uh, it should be, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be. All right, man. I'll give them a call. If they say it's good, then, then I'm good, okay? If they say it's not good, then it's going to be a ticket. All right, that's how it is, man. We don't really play here in Irving with no insurance. It's automatic ticket, all right? I understand. Man, this nigga Charles the White, and you mean to tell me you ain't got insurance on the vehicle, bro? And you don't know you ain't got insurance. You Charles the White. Right. Be talking about other people. Come on, huh? And be knowing all that stuff. Like, why you got no, no Come on, bro. insurance on the car, bro? It is, man. We don't really play here in Irving with no insurance. It's automatic ticket, all right? I understand. Well, you see what's on the back of my, the back of my window, so I do a lot I, of I hear you, so, man. So, yeah, so yeah. I understand. So, yeah, if you're not showing, it ain't showing. Baby, okay. did you pay it? Baby. Yeah. Some change credit cards. Go on and run it. 
So are you saying it's not valid? It's not valid. It's just it's technical. Okay. Dang. All right, man. Um, it, do you have any outstanding warrants? I'm assuming yeah. not, right? Nah, yeah. You ever been arrested for anything? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, shoot, uh, man, uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. When was that? Oh, uh, man, that was, uh, got into it with some gang members, man. The community action just came down to the neighborhood after okay. making some threats. Uh, pointed the gun at a man, so, uh, you know, getting to leave the property, they went back and called the police on me, so I haven't been indicted since. So. Okay, well, all right, man, hopefully it works out for you, okay, dude? Yes, sir. Uh, what about drug use? No, no drug use. Hey, that look, that look. But they gonna get you over that look. That thing be thinking. <laughs> Come on, People bro. You be thinking that's gonna work, bro. Little pounds like that. Oh, don't be the other I day, feel buddy. like I feel like when they do like this to you or or something like that, I just know you finna get locked up. Yeah, you going eat. You finna get locked up. When like, they start that laugh, hold your head. Oh. <laughs> just like how we hand them the weed, but that's it. Come on, man. You think that it, it's mine? Should they play with you, man? <laughs> okay. Well, all right, man. Hopefully it works out for you. Okay, dude. Uh, what about drug use? Oh, he did it first. No Charles drug use, not even marijuana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I smoked it. You ever smoked in the car? Uh, last night. Last night? Yeah, last night? You know if there's anything in there right now? So Don't dig, dude. I'm just asking. Damn. That little guy? Yeah, little guy. That's it? That's it, man. That's all you have? Uh, <laughs> Alright, man. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, they, let me check on a few things and I'll be right back with you, okay? That's a good uh, driver's license number, right? And it's going to come back to that address? All right, bud. Give me one sec. I'll be right back with you. It's hard today. You're going to let them all, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> putting that down for now so here's the deal man since you got that little bit of weed on you i gotta search the car in your person okay is there anything else illegal inside the car oh i got my i got a little 25 man. okay where's it on you okay we'll, just leave okay we'll just leave it there for now all right anything on your person all right go ahead and drop the phone okay. oh baby i gotta drop the phone uh let me can i get my daughter situated while y'all not yet man okay. where's your daughter at oh uh, she, she's at the school at the all right home. yeah not right now okay uh, let's deal with you okay all right drop your stuff Oh, okay, I'll put this in the We'll just leave it up here. Okay. Come on, Chuck. Wanna hop out for me? I got a knife in my pocket. Okay. I'm just gonna stand you for now. Alright, you're not under arrest or anything else. Just this pocket man? Yes, sir. Okay. And he's gonna hold on to it, okay? You said a can of mace? Yes, sir. Where's that mace at? Right, but I'm just going to put it in the back so I don't lose any of your stuff, okay? Yes, sir. That's not it. No, it's not it. Ten four things. I want to make sure everything's out of your pockets, man. I understand you guys. 
Why are you so prepared, man? Oh, I got a lot of tricks, man. This man asked him why you so... So prepared. And that's kind of stupid. Why wouldn't you be? Exactly. They can't... They ain't gonna protect you from every day. Exactly. And if you should be prepared... Kind of stupid. If you ain't you prepared, them, you, you, you walk you, around you this damn world thinking that ain't shit not gonna happen to you, then you. It fool. just happened on movies and stuff like right. that. It won't happen to me. Please, come on, man. Why are you so prepared, man? Oh, right now I got a lot of tricks, man. I want, I want to follow. I walk into the police department, man. I, I do a lot of community work. Uh, I got a lot of tricks, man. I want to follow. And I went to the police department, man. Uh, a lot of killing going on in the city. Four guys against the kitchen and gloves. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh, so well, they don't want to hear that. Okay, where, where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth. Okay. And my daughter goes to school right, right up here at the school up here, man. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to pick her up, just drop my son off at work. Uh, Oh, they don't care about none of that. You're right here trying to do good and they're threatening. They say it like that. Man, my biggest, uh, and then I embrace the police. They say it like that. My message is my greatest threat when I walk out of this door. Man, search the hell out of him. He ain't none of that. But he wouldn't hear nothing. Yapping too much. I'm about to, I just about to say the boy yapping. He yapping, he yapping, they start searching his car for so something. You're originally from yeah. Yeah. Oh, please do. Striking him, yapping, talking. Try to, to make it tail on yourself or something. No, what he That's do, what he, he do, do. yapping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spent most of my teenage life there. Uh, got out of 19 and they went back to prison. Uh, this man had to argue right now. Documentary. So, at times, as a kid, going into the hall, it's okay, man, because I found a father. Got out, man, my oldest brother was telling his whole life story. Oh, brother telling his whole life story. Swish. Charles about that still yapping, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's 
attention that man calls him talk to him. Call him. That man right there, go. <laughs> you want to find something, bro. Mm-hmm. So I've got a little 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, got out in 98, man. My record was sealed. Damn. Uh, that boy is coming off in 98. Uh, came back to my community. Uh, the African-American culture is negative, right? Everything that we get is negative. Master P had just dropped ghetto dope, taught you how to cook crack, step one to step ten. So here it is, I'm locked up from 14 to 21. Uh, and when I get home, I'm mentally, I'm still 14. Even though I'm 21, I don't know how to talk to girls. Uh, so I spent most of my 20s uh, trying to find my identity, hanging out with this guy, just hanging out with this guy, just hanging out with this next girl, just trying to find my identity. Uh, uh, and through father, uh, that's where I found my identity. This man had a free interview with them, Charles and Mike. A free interview yeah. for real. I got two. I got a 16 year old son and a 12 year old boy. Okay. Uh, their mom just went to jail. They live out here. Uh, their mom just went to jail. And she was on the run for a couple of years for probation violations. So uh, I got custody of the kids. I got married. Um, so, finish the story, right? Uh, that boy went just gapping up. Just had a vision of working children. Uh, many of my buddies that uh, I went to school with, man, uh, they were all black. Uh, they were all white. Uh, and they were all black. Uh, so I had a vision of working children. Uh, many of my buddies that I went to school with, man, uh, got locked up for 13, 14, 15. Uh, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and ended up doing 19, 20 years. So I started a youth organization that's called Hyper by Life and Values. Uh, we started going back into the juvenile system, going into the schools, uh, working with the probation departments. Uh, there was an incident that happened in Fort Worth. Yeah, that, that's going to tip. Read the cop to the other cowboy. He good. Let him go. <laughs> she was a risk. Tell me his whole life story. Uh-huh. He good. Uh-huh. He can go. Yeah, he positive. That's where I learned to embrace the police department. Uh, rather than aligning uh, with the African-American community, which they hate, we hate police, we hate police. I thought it was a great opportunity, man, for us to get shit gas and so I uh, started going to Fort Worth and started meeting with uh at the time was the uh, uh president of the police officer association guy by the way family happened uh met with him uh chief Joel Fisher was the chief at the time I started developing a relationship with him the chief house uh chief Krauss who's, who's now the chief at the time uh, now uh I literally started developing a genuine relationship with him so I embraced uh when he brought the procedure of justice to the city. Mm-hmm. So I sat one time in a meeting and I heard our department uh I, yes, sir. I, I heard our department explain what procedural justice was to the African. I heard all the pastors, man, they were rejecting that shit. So I'm saying, man, this supposed to be Christ like man. It didn't sit right. So, man, I stood up and I, my mother pastor was in there and I said, say, man, all y'all complain, you know, complaining, but 
excuse my language, I said, man, we don't see none of y'all niggas in our neighborhood. All y'all don't speak out against the gang violence, the black, we don't see none of that. But all of my mothers, so I was able, I was shunned by my community. Man, they're just trying to find something. You know, I gotta find something. Something gotta be in here. You see how much though, if he popped that trunk over, it's one of them vehicles, y'all just gotta ask the guns. <laughs> he ride with a bunch of guns. There's that little 25 ain't it. Hey man, the gripping me, the gripping me. Uh, you look at my videos, and every day I'm up in the morning promoting fatherhood, saying, man, you don't spend, you niggas don't spend time with your father, you niggas are destroying our neighborhood. The crips and the bloods are in, so they ain't no gun go top. How can we say anything about anybody when we self conflict? These women for me. So, man, I got a strong message. And so, man, my life is in danger. Uh, Malcolm died. Malcolm X. Black people killed him. As long as he was talking about white people, white people. As soon as Malcolm starts saying what we needed to do, that, hey, man, Elijah Muhammad is, is a pedophile. He's sleeping with underage girls. They killed him. They killed him. So whoever comes through black community is speaking the truth about black people, man, our lives are in danger. So, you Google my name, you see that I, uh, I do training in the United States Department of Homeland Security. I used to be a parent. This man pissed me off how much he happened, but I'll be tough. Can you hurry up and finish searching this dude call? I changed my life. Somehow, I would go to Eastfield College from year after year, and I would train in the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. DEA, a special agent by a guy named Brian Lane, or Keith Owens. He heard me speak one time at Texas Western University. I didn't fuck with speaking. I was responsible for leading a group of children uh, who took someone's life and was curious, man. And me and three buddies skipped school one day. Uh, we went to the phone field through all the hearts. We ran out of the football field with some jackets. My 16 year old friend shot and killed the guy who tried to stop me. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. To follow the attention of the children all the time, since I was a kid, I was sent up for a year. I got to tell you, the only reason I did it before this, my mom was financially able. My co-defendants, they was all trying to tackle us. One received 75 years, uh, the other received 99 years. Ah, uh, damn. I got 25. My 15-year-old friend, uh, he died out in the hospital chase running from the police. I understood that I paid my debt to society. So I do what I do because I owe my debt to that victim. I forever have to owe that debt. So I'm going to work with you as a man. With my life on the line. Safety program. 
I think it's a drug treatment program. Okay. I just transferred over to be there about 90 days. Uh, oh, we got the phone number. Really. Grandma called me this morning and said, hey, can you pick her up today? Uh, my grandma's having an 80th birthday tomorrow. Uh, so I'm picking her up so she can help my uh, decorate the house. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> he ready to talk. He ready to come up with something, boy. He thinking of something. It's got a whole free interview. Whole free. He thinking you know, of something to say. I see you every morning. I come through every morning. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I see you off. Blow in. Uh, Cross the dollars. Blow in. Uh, What's your name on Facebook? Charleston White. Charleston White? Yeah. This man right here determined, but this man ain't stopping. <laughs> he something in here, boy. Could have been called a canine unit out there. You're in it. Until I wanted to do something one time and I couldn't, I just couldn't get no traction. Uh -huh. What's that? I wanted to get like a little book, right? Miss, what's that? Some officer stories <laughs> and, and have you guys write a story about what it's like to be a police officer, right? So the name of the, the, name of the book or the project is going to be called Walk a Mile in My Shoes, right? Mm -hmm. You get some officers to write what it's like, man. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Walk out there, go and kiss your family. Put their uniform on. And come out here, my man, if you don't make it that home, man. Shit, all of us do that when we leave out the house. Exactly. I know what he's saying, but all of us do that when we leave out the house. I mean, exactly. You never know, know if you're going to make it back you home. You make it back home because somebody's stupid. Charleston enough. is glazing right now. Kiss your family. Put their uniform on. Come out here with my man if you don't let it back home. Then I want some children to write their story uh -huh. about what it's like to grow up in some of the conditions that you guys go and make the best and kick doors in. Mm -hmm. And then y'all exchange those stories and get an understanding of what it's like to walk in each other's shoes. Uh, I, want, I wanted to do that, man, uh, to humanize. Uh, I see you got a badge, but you don't have a typical badge in what you see. I, I wanted to do that, man, to humanize that badge that you guys put on. That man want to lock his ass up. <laughs> Something. Yeah, he tapping he and there, everything. Like, something in here, bro. He back there yapping too. Mm -hmm. He said, ain't no way. All right, but I'm going to hold on to this for a sec, okay? What is that, the guy? Yeah. Like too far. All right, so he's convicted felony in Oklahoma in 99. That was 20 years ago. I can't remember. Possession of firearm by felon, Texas. After they've been convicted five years, released from prison, found guilty. Texas cannot possess a firearm. Five-year period position that has expired. Felon can possess a firearm only where that person lives. I'm talking about I just got fresh, jumped fresh out the shower. Uh, <laughs> That's what I wonder. Is that why it's now? Because uh -oh. this happened in 2020. But it's here. He still on. got like. Uh, yeah, next time I got no devices. 
Freeze, don't move. We don't run and be shot. We don't reach, we don't pull our pants up. So, uh, Mr. White, you can about the yeah, yeah, about all these other gang members, right? That's why they're targeting you. Yes, you're keeping all these weapons, the shiv, the mace, the gun. Do you have any... Just get to the point. Man, please, I didn't take my hand. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Just tell me. Let me show you. I went on World Star. I went on World Star. That's the World Star. It's over 500, it's probably 500,000 people, man. I come back from that too. Someone took my, I had to go to the police. You didn't even let the man finish talking. <laughs> it happened. I'm a community. Uh -huh. I'm very vocal. I don't vocal. care about all that. Yes, black on black crime. I'm very vocal against the Christian girls. So, man, I'm always taking a hit. Damn, look, 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 look at the teeth. Look at that bird. Look at his face. Look at his face. Hey, man, I am being threatened. The police department know me. So, it died down. Someone got that video in homes of calling me a snitch and it says Fort Worth Man Snitches. This is what the title says. Fort Worth Man Snitches on Crips and Thugs and Drug Dealers. So that grabbed so many people's attention. Now I'm getting threats from all over. My mother called me. Man, my wife called me. Man, you be now. Like, like, when you get finished you know, yapping, I'll tell you what. Right. So, Mr. White, do you know what unlawful of a firearm is. I, I understand, so listen. Okay, if you got drugs in your car, then you have a gun. I understand. He said he had a lot of drugs, though. Just a little bit of weed. The drug was the last, last night, man. The gun is the last night. He said a little bit. He said he had a little bit. You also just got charged for the ag assault with a gun. I ain't gonna need nothing. Real quick, before these tighten up, is that it? You're going to jail. You don't care about all that? Right. World star? You might take you out of jail, bro. He wanted to show you. Yeah, they cut the camera back. This man yapping my head off, bro. Right. Just the marijuana. Okay. Girl, well, yeah, we know that. So this video of the night, 2020. Yeah, they said that happened in 2020. So this must, they just recently uh, brought this back brought up. This back up whatever. That's why he got here, because I'm like, where that hair come from? Yeah. That was recent. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah, he got a little kind of thing, a ball head or something. Ball head or something. Damn, something you got Okay, Which one he got, y'all? <laughs> Damn. Charleston, yeah. I was about to, I was getting sleepy. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I know that cop was ready for the other cop to hurry Never up. Telling his whole life story since the time he was Free born. Free <laughs> To the mama, to the, to the baby All mama it. going to jail and where the child go to school at, where he right. live at. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> man, how y'all feel, man? Drop down in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Don't like the video, share the video, man. What else y'all want to see us react to? Drop it down below as well. Y'all be safe. We catch you on the next video. Catch you on the next one.